I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Here is a question from Mr. Tanvir. Let us see how to solve this particular problem. The question here is, a trebuchet was used to catapult a pumpkin from a height of 4 meters. It reached maximum height of 14 meters and covered a distance of 24 meters. Based on this, we have two questions. A. Model the situation, round parameters to whole numbers. And B is, at what horizontal distance was the height of the pumpkin 10 meters to the nearest meter? Now let's try to sketch and then solve the particular question. So let us say the height is shown on the vertical y-axis and distance on the horizontal x-axis. And uh, let's say that's the path followed by the pumpkin. We'll assume this path to be a parabolic path. We're given that the height from which it is thrown is 4 meters. Right. So that is one thing. We are also given that the distance which we are targeting is 24. So we will assume this to be 24. And the maximum height is given to us as 14. So that point here is 14. Now we do have three points. However, we do not know the distance at which the midpoint uh, maximum height is there. So basically, we have two points only, right? The third point is kind of a partial point with us. Now, how do we solve such a question? Well, this just gives you the vertex kind of where we need to find what this position is. Let us say this position is P, right? In that case, we can write the height in terms of distance, let's say D. And we are assuming this is distance along the x-axis in meters. Height also is in meters. Good. So this is a situation given to us. So we can write that the height over distance is equal to a times x minus p. If p is the point where we have the maximum whole square plus the maximum which is given to us as 14. Now, since this path is kind of uh, concave down, we know this should be negative, right? So, we'll write negative. A value will be then positive. Is that clear to you? All right. Now, we need to, from here, find the parameters A and P to get our quadratic equation. And that is how we could do it. So, let's use the two points given to us. So, when the distance is zero, we can say the distance being zero, we know uh, x is zero, that is. So, we can write this as minus a minus p whole square plus 14. This distance zero is zero, right? So, this point, which is uh, height is 4 to us, sorry. At distance zero, the height is 4 to us. So, write 4 equals to minus a p square plus 14 and now we can write this as a p square equals to 14 minus 4 which is equal to 10 and uh, then oh, we can write a in terms of p square which is 10 over p square so we get one equation so let's call this as our equation number one now we have the other point, which is 24, 0. Using this point, we know the height when the distance is 24. At that time, it is 0, right? So, we'll just substitute uh, here instead of x, 24. So, we get minus a, 24 minus p whole square plus 14. At this time, the height is 0. So, we get 0 equals to uh, minus a 24 minus p whole square 
plus 14. Now A can be substituted at 10 over P squared. So this is where it becomes slightly complicated. So we'll substitute A equals to 10 over P squared in this equation. So we get 0 equals to minus 10 over P squared. 24 minus P whole squared plus 40. Now it's a question of solving this quadratic equation. Multiplying by P squared, we get 0 equals to minus 10. 24 minus P whole squared plus 14 P squared. Now we can always open this bracket, so we get a quadratic equation to solve, where 0 equals to minus 10 times 24 square minus 2ab, which is 48p, plus p square, plus 14p square. Right. So open the bracket, so we get 0 equals to so 24 square is how much? Let's multiply 10 with 24 square. So 24 square is equal to 576, right? So we'll write this as minus 5760. And here we get plus 480p minus 10p square plus 14p square. So we get 0 equals to 14 minus 10 is 4. So we get 4p square. And we are just rearranging plus 480p minus 5760. Taking 4 common, I could write this as p squared. Divide this by 4, so we get uh, plus 120p minus. Dividing by 4, 4 times 1 is 14, 4. And 17, 4 times 4 is 16, 16, 14, 40. Correct? That is the equation which we get. Now to solve this equation, we can use quadratic formula. Okay. Now quadratic formula we are going to use to solve this particular uh, equation. So we are using quadratic formula. Let me write down quadratic formula. So, using the formula, we get the value of P as equal to minus of B, which is minus 120, plus minus square root of 120 square, minus 4AC, so this becomes positive, plus 4 times 1440 square root, divided by 2 times A, which is 2. So, let's calculate this value. Now let us use the calculator to calculate the value. So within the square root, we have 120 square plus 4 times 1440. Uh, 2160, we'll do square root of this. So square root of our answer is equal to 24 square root 35. So we get this as minus 120 plus minus 24 square root of 35 over 2. Now definitely from here we have to take away 120 and then divide by 2. So we'll take away uh, from our answer 120 and then whatever we get we are going to divide this by 2. So we get 10.99. So the valid answer which we get is 10.99. So we're going to round this to 11. So the value of P is 11 for us, right? So once we get P as 11, substituting P equals to 11, we get A equals to 10 over 11 square, which is 10 over 121. So we'll keep the value of A as 10 over 121, and then write down our uh, equation using these two values a as 11 so what we get here is a as 10 over 11 square which is 121 and p as 11 right 
So this formula we get as h of d as equal to minus, we'll write a as 10 over 121, x minus 11 whole square plus 14. So, so that is how we get our quadratic equation which represents the parabolic path of the pumpkin. Perfect. Now in part 2, we will find at what horizontal distance was the height of the pumpkin 10 meters to the nearest meter. So we will re replace h of d as 10 and then try to find the value of x. Perfect. You can always uh, pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. So in part B, let us begin with the formula which we have just derived. Uh, the model for this situation is that the height is equals to minus 10 over 11 square, which is 121, x minus 11. So the maximum is at a distance of 11, right? And the maximum height was 40. That is what we get. Now in part B, at what horizontal distance was the height of the pumpkin 10 meters? We'll have to find the value of x replacing h of d as 10 meters. So we get 10 equals to minus 10 over 121 times x minus 11 whole square plus 14. So we need to solve this. Now let's take uh, uh, the negative thing to the left side. So we get 10 over 121 times x minus 11 whole square equals to 14 minus 10, which is 4. So we just cross multiply. So we get x minus 11 whole square equals to 4 times 121 over 10. So when you do square root, we get x minus 4 equals to square root of 4 times 121 over 10 square. So we definitely take a positive value in this case. Since all distances are always positive. So what we get here is x minus 11 is equal to. So that is 2 times 11 over square root 10, right? So which is 22 over square root 10. So the value of x and this value could be positive or negative. We'll see ultimately, do we get, uh, what do we get? So this value is going to be positive or negative. Let's actually calculate this value. So we have 22 divided by square root of 10, which is in decimals equal to plus minus 6.95. Now, since we are, so we get uh, x minus 11 equals to plus minus, we can now round this to one decimal whole number. Since we need nearest meter, so we'll write it down to 7. So we get the value of x as equal to 11 plus minus 7. So we get two solutions for this, and that is when you add 7, you get 18, and when you take away 7, you get 4. So the answer here will be, so at... 4 meters and 8 meters height will be 10 meters right so that is the situation so as you can visualize the situation is kind of like this the path will be parabolic and this is the height 10 and these two points we're talking about, right? So this will be 4, and that is going to be 18. Correct? Does make sense to you? So that is how we are going to actually solve this particular uh, question. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.